if you have a chance to take a look at my book, I spend quite a bit of time talking about this issue. So what I think might sort of be um, in the mind of that questioner is what about cronyism? Um, so is cronyism a species of honorable business? So, you know, what goes on in the United States? Um, well, a lot of companies in the United States, in fact, almost all companies after they reach a certain size, spend a lot of money on lobbying. Um, and what do they do with that lobbying? Well, they're trying to get legislation or regulation tilted in their favor. Um, sometimes it's defensive, meaning they're trying to defend themselves against you know, other people doing things or something, but um, oftentimes it's to get things tilted in their, in their own favor. I think those are species of cronyism. And by cronyism, I mean, um, this is when certain businesses or firms or industries or in other parts of the world, you get families that get uh, special protections, they get special subsidies. So maybe they're protected against competition. They might get their losses subsidized. Maybe they get special, they get special charters or special monopolies. They're the only ones who get to engage in this business activity in this region or this area or whatever it is. I think all of those are in various ways um, species of what I call extraction. In other words, what they are is using the mechanism of government to um, provide value or to extract value for themselves at the expense of unwilling others. Um, so, I mean, that's painting with a very broad brush, but I think um, all of those cronyist um, activities, which might be what your questioner was thinking of, I don't think those are honorable activities. Now, here's one caveat or one qualification I would make. Suppose you want to be an honorable business person and you're in a country in which you're surrounded by people engaging in cro and cronyism. Um, if you're the only one you unilaterally, I mean, this becomes a collective action problem now. So I unilaterally decide not to engage in it. And what happens? I'm at a competitive disadvantage to all of the people who are engaging in it. So I'm just going to go out of business. And so in that way, cronyism can, can be something like, you know, its own spiral downward. It encourages and incentivizes everybody to engage in it. Um, so there I would say that the, a person wanting to engage in honorable business who is surrounded by people who are engaging in what I would call dishonorable business, I think the way you have to, I mean, uh, I, I think the way you have to think about what you're doing is if you have to engage in activities defensively, then maybe you get a pass, but only if it's defensive, not if it's on the offense, meaning not if you're actively seeking out special favors, but you're just trying to protect yourself against other people getting special favors against you or at your expense, then I think it can be justified, but only in, those, in that limited way.